Welcome back everyone. Wet and wild weather to the south, easing back tonight to mainly coastal areas. Tomorrow, cool maximums across southern districts. Still some showers to south coastal areas as a weak cold front sort of moves in and then brushes past a little later in the day. All dry and warm though for our north and there's little change then on Thursday, although some clouds sitting to that northwest by showers over southern parts of the southwest land division into the Eucla. Here's Friday and we have showers moving in. You can see through here the west Western Pilbara into parts of that northern Gascoigne as well. Uh, onshore winds and some lingering showers are going to mainly southern coastal districts. And then more of those showers to the Pilbara and Gascoigne on Saturday. And we have a more significant front reaching the southwest coast. We're looking at showers for southern coastal districts with lighter falls reaching as far up as southwest of a line from Port Hedland right down through to Warburton. Into the Kimberley for you tomorrow. Sunny and yes, dry. 16 into 35 there for Kununurra. Light winds for Broome and 33. Fresh Easterlies for Port Hedland, 32 there. Carrafa gets a nice sunny 29 and 27 for both Onslow and for Exmouth. It is mostly sunny for Carnarvon tomorrow, 25. South Easterlies for much of the Gascoigne, in fact. Partly cloudy into the central west. There is a slight chance of rain for Geraldton and a top there tomorrow of 24. Partly cloudy into the far southwest. We're looking at 21 for Bunbury. A Dropping to a cool six in Collie tonight. Still the chance of some rain though to the south coast. 19 for Albany, partly cloudy further inland. And 19, a popular number. That's also the top for Northam and for Southern Cross. Cloudy with the chance of showers to the southeast coast. Eastburn, some rain and 20. But look, it should remain mostly sunny for the goldfields. 20 for Kargoorlie and 21 in Laverton. Here's Northern Waters for you tomorrow. Now a mix of winds. We're looking light tomorrow as well. Reaching around about up to that four metres off the Gascoigne coast. Similar swell conditions off the west coast. Strengths reaching from variable to 10 knots up to around about 20 knots. And it is a little fresh up to 25 knots for waters tomorrow off the south coast. Uh, that'll reach right through from the Albany uh, to that Eucla coastline. Now Canberra is set for a rather cool 16 degrees tomorrow. A little warmer though, 21 for Perth, though it will be partly cloudy. Good night. Thank you, Shona. Before we go tonight, late football news this afternoon. A rising Dockers superstar from Busselton is set for a long stint on the sidelines after copping a heavy knock in the waffle. Jai Amos was sent to hospital after he was hit on a kidney. But the injury news is the best it's been for the the Eagles in a while. It didn't take long for him to show his talent on the big stage. Very open forward line for the debut time. One out, great body work. But now a scary incident will see Jai Amos back on the sidelines for what could be a while. He had to go to hospital. He's had some surgery on that kidney. Um, he's doing well at the moment uh, and we're just uh, getting all the opinions on to what it means for his football but he'll be out for a, a period of time. It's better news for the Eagles who came out of their Giants clash without too many concerns. Skipper Luke Shuey and Northampton key Josh Kennedy should be ready for the Bulldogs on Saturday. Kalgoorlie's Dom Sheed and Elliot Yo could see waffle minutes this weekend. Hopefully it just adds more depth in um, come selection and yeah the the team doesn't have to rely too much on them. They can just come back in and they can just play good footy and, yeah, us younger boys can keep driving, driving the standards. Geraldton veteran Paddy Ryder says he's still got the love of the game to continue on past this year. The 34-year-old has played a massive role in the Saints' come-from-behind wins over the last fortnight and hopes to remain a part of their future. I've just got to keep my body in good nick and um, I think being so far into my career now like I, I know what I need to do to to keep myself going so I've got that all down pat so you know I'll, I'll just take it year by year at the end of the year I'll assess but um, if I keep playing good footy then you know I'll just continue to play. Lockie Byrne GWN 7 News. And that is GWN 7 News for this Tuesday evening we'll be back later with updates you can watch our programs anytime you like on 7 plus or follow our reports on social media. Seven News from Perth is next from our team right across the state. Good night, Western Australia.